Oh, look, I mean, I was one of the 600 BrizConnect shareholders who got taken out by Macquarie. Uh, we just transferred our shares to them because we owned less than 50,000. So Macquarie did take out all of the relatively yes. small shareholders. They only left the 150-odd who held more than 50,000. That included some big tough boys like, uh, you know, uh, Mr Burns, and that included uh, Nicholas Bolton's mate who got transferred the 77 million. So, you know, the colourful bigger players, they are going over. And if you, you know, if you got on the ComSec and you bought more than 50,000 units in something, um, you know, you, that's a pretty big, big step you've taken. And uh, I think it's reasonable. They have to do it under the underwriting deal. Mac Macquarie and Deutsche Bank have got to stump up for 278 million. They don't want to come up with the full lot. And if they can get five or 10 million out of these 135 stragglers, well, they're obliged to do it under the underwriting deal. But when it comes to actually bankrupting someone and appointing a bankruptcy trustee, when the person clearly has no assets left, I think it would be a false economy and I suspect that when it gets to that they'll do a whole bunch of individual settlements rather than incurring the costs of you know, 120 bankruptcies. It's a very, very expensive process All to right, pursue over a few years if you've got nothing to chase. Yeah. Okay, what about the lesson that these people perhaps don't learn if they don't have to pay their debts and they just think, well, the next oh, time a partly paid comes the along? Documents. They've been living in fear, they've been having sleepless nights, they've already even if it all stopped now, they've already learnt a big lesson. The, the, the stock exchange has changed the rules. I tried to buy back into BrizConnect uh, a few weeks ago and Comsec rang up and said, sorry, you've got to sign this form before you can do it. Do you know what you're getting into? So they right. fixed it from a regulatory point of view. Okay. I mean, think about it. When you go to the ATM, a foreign ATM, the, the thing flashes up, do you want to pay a $2 fee to, um, uh, to take this money out? That didn't happen with BrizConnect. You could be buying yourself a $50 million liability and it never said, do you realise what you're doing? So at least they've fixed that now, so we'll yeah. never see this situation again.